Hello, welcome to a quick presentation uh, explaining question 14 of January 2010 uh, physics paper for Edexcel. Okay, so um, pause the video, read the question, and then attempt it, and then I'll go through it. Okay, so reading the question, we've got, uh, we're trying to find out about horsepower. Um, I'm just reading through the whole thing, making sure I'm getting all the information necessary. What observed that a horse could turn a wheel 144 times, whoops, 144 times in one hour, so that's time. The horse traveled in a circle with a radius of 3.7 meters and exerted a force of 800 newtons. Right, show that the work done by the horse in turning the wheel through one revolution was about 20,000 joules. Right, one revolution. Okay, so, what we need to do firstly is to try and visualize what the question is talking about. So you've got a horse going around in a circle. It's got a radius of 3.7 meters. And um, it's applying a force of 800 newtons. Okay, so this is the distance to which the, for the horse is traveling. This is the distance to which it's applying this force of 800 newtons. So uh, we can use the work formula to calculate the amount of work done in one uh, revolution. Work is equal to force multiplied by the distance to which that force traveled. Um, the distance is going to be the uh, circumference of this circle. So we need the formula for the circumference of a circle. It's so uh, force times 2 pi r should get us the correct answer. So the force was 800. The uh, 2 pi and the radius is 3.7. Okay, so a quick blast on the calculator gets us um, 1859.8.229 joules. Okay, I'm not going to put that in as my answer. I'll just uh, round it up to, or round it down to uh, 18598 joules. Okay, and that is close enough to 20,000 joules that I'm satisfied I got the answer correct. Okay, uh, notice that when I've done my working out, I've shown my working. So if I did go wrong, the examiner can see what my thinking was. So I could still be awarded some of these marks. Okay, let's look at the next part of the question. Calculate the average power of the horse in SI units. Right, let's go back a second. So in order to calculate power, power is equal to work done divided by time. Okay, so what I'll need is, I've got a time of one hour. But in that one hour, the horse does 144 times around the circle. So he does, well, the horse does 144 times this amount of work. So I'm going to do uh, 144 multiplied by 18598 joules and divided by the time it took, which is one hour, 60 times 60. Do a lot of these calculations, you know that's uh, 3,600. Okay, so calculating that again, be careful you don't make any bod mass errors when you do these things. Um, if you really have to, calculate the top line, put the, put the answer here, calculate the bottom line, put the answer here, and um, then divide them so that you don't make any errors on the calculator. Okay, so this is giving me an answer of 743.92, and this is going to be in watts. Um, and I'm going to put my answer here as 744 watts. Uh, okay, thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful.